they need their ass beats. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I got the people, man. First of all, to y'all dudes, that was, I know who it was, but I ain't gonna call you out. You motherfuckers that was pulling up the celeb shit, seeing if they voted or not. Corny, bro. Y'all niggas too invested. Y'all niggas pulled up Kendrick Lamar shit to see to see that he never voted ever. I like, bro. If you listen to Kendrick Lamar music, that nigga not voting, bro. It's nothing about it's nothing about Kendrick Lamar that make you think that he would be voting, bro. That nigga can't, that nigga was on the damn album talking about he was a black Israelite, bro. That nigga's a hotep nigga, bro. Yeah. I don't I think a lot of y'all niggas be might have just became fans of Kendrick Lamar after the Drake shit. That nigga is like one of them fake hotep woke niggas, bro. Here he's definitely not voting. And I can't wait until this new album come out. And y'all gonna y'all new fans gonna hear hear that shit. And then Kendrick Lamar gonna be on some Tariq Nasheed shit. And it's gonna slap y'all in the face. <laughs> it's gonna be and y'all niggas gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think that um, <coughs> I definitely think Kendrick knows he can make good like they not like us was a, a, a great hit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. His feature on that future shit. You know what I mean? I feel like Kendrick stepping into a new bag. I'm gonna be a little surprised for sure by what comes. So, bro, he was on. He was on the. Uh, he was talking about. Uh, he was like shaming women that were shaking ass and they were trying to cancel him, bro. Kendrick do do shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm. Uh next one, man. I know I say uh them ten them ten. Them twenty versus ones be my uh guilty pleasure, but uh I, I throw in a hat, bro. I'm not watching no more, man. This nigga yeah. YSL Woody. This some coin tail pro shit. YSL Woody did a twenty V one with Lil RT and the Lil RT shits be weird because they be trying to disguise it as him trying to get a friend mm-hmm. but they like throw like a little boy in there here yeah. and there to make it seem like they trying to match him up to get like a friend but no bro you trying to it be mostly little girls too so yeah. it's it's kind of like a kid version of a 20 v, v1 pretty much yeah but they did one where it was YSL Woody was trying to get the the mom and then little RT, they had a little boy and little girls. The mom need her ass beat for bringing her kid to a 20 V1. And then she also need her ass beat for letting little RT talk to her little son like that. And this clip here? Yeah. Yeah. Like little RT this was talking was to crazy. Little RT was talking to her son crazy. Step and to then, the side, bro. Nigga, yeah. Nigga, nigga was wild. And he was talking to her crazy. Like yeah. propelling that shit to me is insane. We ain't here for you, little bro. Oh, step to the side. Step to the side. We here for your mama. See. Okay. All tight. Tight. She talking about tight. Where y'all from? Woody Woo. Where you from? Atlanta. Where he from? Atlanta. Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Uh, give me five. Tight. Tight. Step daddy. Step daddy. He don't mean, he don't mean no. Daddy. He don't mean no. He don't mean no harm. He just, he just, he just trying to figure out where's best for him. This up. Step daddy. You don't know he wants to get or not. You still with his dad? Bro, if I was that little boy daddy, bro, custody coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is enough to get full custody of your kid. 100%. Whoever, bro, that the little legit daddy is, he got to be a deadbeat. Bro. Ain't no way an active dad letting that happen. Not at all. Not yeah, at bro, all. I'm getting full custody, bro. I'm going to be Charleston White in the courthouse. <laughs> I'm breaking up everything. I'm going to be Freddie Gibbs. All right, bro. I got to delete that. Up. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> All right, that's funny. What's the what was it? The Chase shit? The Chase bank? Yeah. Yeah, the Chase. Yeah, the, y'all getting spanked, bro. Bro, count said negative 31. <laughs> 30, 38. 38. Oh yeah, that's seven. Yeah, I ain't see that at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, bro. Y'all. Yeah, I'll be 38 hot. I'll be using 38 escape ropes on my neck. Yeah. And nigga, if I damn, you can't even abandon it because that go on your credit. Straight up. Yeah, you can't even abandon that. You can get another bank account with somebody else, but that shit. No, not hit. after this. Are you kidding? You can't get another bank account. I don't think so. Damn. Oh, you could probably get like a cash up one, mm-hmm. but it's still gonna go in your credit either way. But either, yeah. yeah, this nigga, bro, this nigga sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
too much up, now, man. Yo. They really told me to tap in. Next day, it was supposed to clear. Look at my account, yo. <laughs> oh, nah. He got finesse. Bro, what oh, the? somebody else spent that money. He got finesse. They hit him with that. If you got a, a bank that got five years and you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The he old got account. finesse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened all the time. They told me to tap in. Yeah, dumbass nigga. Shit. You're supposed to find another dummy. Man. Yeah, you're supposed to get somebody else's account, bro. You're supposed to get your grandma account. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> Not that I would do it, but my grandma said that really shit to me like a couple months ago. We was talking about credit, and she was like, "I'm old, I don't need good credit." I was like, "Yeah, you're you're right." You're like, well, like she was like, my grandma eighty three. She was like, "Why do I need a seven hundred credit score? I'm old. Like it don't even, to get my it don't people, matter that more." Trying to get my grandparents to run that shit up, like, hey. <laughs> it's that time. <laughs> hey, it's it's not, that time. I, not, not to say, not to say that it's that time for them to go. God forbid, you know what I'm saying. But it's that time for us to get this bag. Yeah, I get. I just get exactly what you mean. Like, yeah, it's what. Yeah, time for us to get this bag. Run, run right that you. credit up, bro. Like at this, at, if you we gonna get a quick twenty thousand overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's do this. Yeah, bro. If you pass eighty, bro, you know, if you could be a five, you could have a five hundred credit score. You'd be straight. You already got your house at this point. You already got your car. Like, yeah, you don't need good have good credit. Credit is for young people, man. Young people Honey. need credit, bro. All right, bro. This nigga, bro. This made me not even want to do DoorDash no more, man. This mm -hmm. dude got an order. He did some nasty ass shit. Big, big funky honky. <laughs> In the house. <laughs> Everyone's really full. Kevin. All right. Thanks so much. Have a good night. Thanks. Nah. <laughs> yeah, bro. So it was like some soda at the edge of the cup and bro licked that. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. I watch that camera back and be like, fuck no. Hey, fire this nigga. Terminate. Terminate. Uh, yeah, man. That's disgusting. I say something for next week. Um, this one, bro. I ain't not. I'm not gonna say, bro. Mom need her ass beat, but she need to. She need to stop the bullshit. Bro was. He was at his mom crib and he was trying to get a drink of juice. Yeah. And she had. She put. Bro, she put oil in a minute made. Nah, yeah. Nah. That's crazy. Yo, this is no joke, right? I just came to pour some juice in my mom house. The light was off. Couldn't really see. Bro, this shit is fucking cooking oil, you, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad I turned the light on. Something ain't seen right, man. I swear to God. This cup heavy as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. That nigga was pouring that bitch. That bitch was pouring out slow, you, bro. He's like, bro, this is that Waukesha. For real. Like, hey, bro. bro. That's a big ass cup, too. That nigga pouring. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's that. I, somebody need to ask me for real, cause you gotta write something like that on 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 the container. Yeah, let somebody know or something like that. That's um, I seen a nigga. He put ketchup in a syrup bottle. Oh wow, that was wild. Yeah. Also, I I know I know most people. If your parents cook can cook, they keep the keep cooking oil, mm -hmm. but you don't put it in a minute made bottle. Yeah. Usually, either like. Like Most of the time, you just put it to the side of the refrigerator. You don't, you canister don't need some shit. Yeah, yeah. canister. Oh, most of, most of the time, uh, usually my grandma and my mom, they always be put in a Folgers jar. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say some kind of jar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, jar or something, bro. You don't put it in a minute made carton that's and then crazy. put it in the refrigerator. She said, mm, "This, it. bro, that's crazy." And yeah, she that. had to pour that out of a bottle. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah, that, yeah, his mom tripping, bro. I don't even know how she did it with such precision. Oh yeah, you gotta like, especially you got a big ass frying pan, bro. What? And first of all, she when probably you, had a funnel. That's I'm gonna give it a benefit of the doubt because that that's meticulous. You gotta she do that. Yeah, you gotta strain the oil also because I don't know because you got the little yeah. I don't know if you yeah. ever seen it but the little strainer that right. you pour the oil the little uh -huh, uh -huh. canister it's like you gotta strain it and then you gotta put it in a minute made bottle. Like what's going on, lady? That's crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say she ain't need an ass beat. Well, we gotta upgrade it, dude. man. You need yeah. you need get your shit together, bro. She need an ass beat. You almost killed your son. Yeah. 
That nigga had the ice and the oil too. That Bruh, nigga, that nigga got ready, fat ass he cup. He was ready to drink. <coughs> See, I would have been in trouble because nigga like me, I'd drink from the jug. Yeah, I would have been toast, nigga, because that bit would have been high as the sky. <laughs> uh, oh, pause. That's crazy, bro. All right, you got to be careful now because she like to stab niggas. Oh, yeah, yeah, She look like she stabbed niggas. You ain't going to say Oh, it. my bad. This is uh, it's yours. Yeah, I ain't know if you was going to play the video and then I talk about it. But um, this is, uh, who is that? Uh, Kiki Wyatt, ain't it? Kiki Wyatt. Yeah. Man. Kiki Wyatt was in, like, this ain't no disrespect to mall jewelers. <laughs> but you might... Jewelry out the mall in Douglasville, Georgia. <laughs> a Rolex, that, right? Yeah, two Rolexes. Nigga, what? Thinking that you're getting top of the line shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the service, you know, like, that's a finesse. That's a finesse. Going to the mall to get <coughs> your, your chain, your watch, and shit like that. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not trying to knock it. But yeah, she was wilding in bro, this clip to me. Nigga, we know Kiki Wild, bro. She a little, she a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, also, mm-hmm. man. You just look, just look at her, bro. Yeah. And also, man, whoever owned this this jewelry store, you might need to uh, close shop because this lady's crazy. She she, bomb she that bitch. She yeah. She said, "What you say?" She bomb that bitch. Yeah, bro. She mm-hmm. she because bro said he ain't giving her money back. Mm-hmm. She gonna do she nigga Kiki like we said Kiki Wild be stabbing niggas. She gonna do something, bro. <laughs> she gonna get her get back, bro. She on, bro. She ain't, she got eleven kids at the house, bro. She don't give a fuck. She don't got no. She don't got no issue throwing her life away. Right. So yeah, you nigga, you better close that shop, bro. We'll go to another mall. I, I bought these Rolexes at this store. Oh hell no, this video six minutes. Hold on, let me show y'all. Let me yeah, show y'all what the store look like. Okay. And these and and shit's falling apart. And they don't wanna. They don't wanna swap the shit. They don't wanna. Help a nigga out. Like, here's the shit. Even saying it like that, no one's gonna. Diamond Ring Company. She bought it from a bullshit a, in a Arbor Place Mall in Douglasville, and they let me buy two Rolexes from them. It's called. And they falling apart. Diamond Ring Company. And all I ask these. First of all, those are I'm a, those are bust down Rolexes. Yes, they ain't worth a fuck. Yeah, bro, the nigga put some bullshit in there, bro. Yeah, that she was wildin'. <coughs> Bruh, I know Kiki Wyatt. She got a white mom. Bruh, that white jumped out when she said, yeah. help a nigger out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that white jumped out, bro. We ain't gonna do this Glorilla, man, because you hating, and that bitch got music on it. No, I ain't I ain't, I ain't, hating on Glorilla. She should have took the opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> Kamala team need their ass beat, for real. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of strange, bro. It's definitely some, there's nothing, definitely some boondock shit. Yeah, there's nothing positive about that song. There's nothing motivational about that song. There's nothing, like... This again ain't to take away from Glorilla at all, but it's like that is <clears throat> that is one of the worst lights you could put on the black community for a fucking presidential campaign. They were twer- they were twerking. I know the Meg shit. They were twerking. Nah, not in this. They they weren't twerking, but they um. Hey man, I don't hate Meg, but I'm gonna say this, bro. I'm gonna say this, bro. And I, once again, I do not hate Meg the Stallion. I'm not. I don't think Tory Lanez didn't shoot her. I think he did shoot her, bro. Let me put that disclaimer out. Let me tap dance a little bit before I say what I gotta say. Hey, bro. Hey, it's kind of weird that every time Meg the Stallion gets scrutiny, she shake her ass every single time. Every single time she get a little backlash, she shake her ass. Cause they had uh they pulled up that documentary or well, it came out I ain't watch that shit cause I don't got no reason to watch it. She was like cheering like they won a championship ring when Tory Lane got them ten years. Mm-hmm. Everybody like all right they're like this kind of weird that you mm-hmm. celebrate the shit like right. that. Day. But uh as soon as she got that and then they brought up the uh, whole shit about the the Gail King shit about she lied about fucking Tory. Yeah. Next day shaking that ass I ain't I I look. I watched the video was like 20 minutes. I don't know why the video was 20 minutes. Yeah. But I like, obviously, and she made sure she shook her ass. She had that moose knuckle out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was wild. <laughs> Throwing that shit around. I like, every time she gets some scrutiny, she shake that ass. Low, low, low record sales, shake that ass. Yep. I respect it, man. Yep. It keeps her relevant. Hey, man. 
I had to put that disclaimer. I like make, but I'm just saying. I just don't like when they do that whole, you know, I'm being victimized for my body type shit. You know what I'm saying? And not 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 victimized, not victimized. I don't mean to say that. Uh, I meant to say like um, <coughs> sexualized. Sexualized. I don't think, does Meg say that? She did. She had a point to where she said that when she stopped twerking. I don't remember that. I know Angel Reese be saying that, but she always be wearing the pants yeah, up she, her ass. And then she makes tweets and things like that. She 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 had a a, a post that said I could I could be fully clothed and still be giving sexy or some shit like that. Still, you know, something along those lines. And it's just like, hey, if you that's don't, not, that's not tame. Huh? That's not tame. Yeah, but it still alludes to, hey, even if. I'm giving you the same energy as if I'm butt naked, right? But <coughs> that's my allure. Buy into this. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like that that's what I feel like it comes off as. Um when you when you frame things like that. I could be fully clothed, but I'm still giving that same sexy kind of thing. Mm. It's like then you're wanting me to continue watching for yeah, this reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It might not be me watching to see when you have on, you know, short shorts, but it might be me watching you fully clothed with those same imaginations. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's 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 why I say I think that, you know, sometimes we just got to take a step back and reevaluate. I took a quick peek at Twitter, bro. Niggas, niggas said we about to be on that plantation tomorrow. Yeah, it's looking like it. You should have voted, bro. It was you, Joe. What if he missed by one vote? You remember when Gillum had? You remember when Gillum had missed that shit by? Um, they did a recount. You remember Gillum had Andrew Gillum? I think it was the Florida governor. I think he had missed that shit by like three votes. Oh, bro, that's a wrap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't see Kamala winning nothing else. She got damn, bro. Got Wisconsin. Oh fuck. No. He ain't get Wisconsin. Not Wisconsin, He's Wyoming. Leading. He's leading in Wisconsin. Damn. He's leading in Kansas and New Mexico, Arizona, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia. Well, nice knowing y'all, bro. This is the last episode of RALP, man. Damn. We had fun, bro. We gave y'all nine years in the game, bro. bro. Hey, uh, King, man, we finna get jobs. Or psychosis, psychosis. Yeah. <laughs> psychosis. Oh, psychosis, huh? you about to get a job, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you bigger than me and Joe. Yeah. So you go, they ain't gonna, they gonna have you. <laughs> they gonna work you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gonna be, they gonna, you gonna be a first round pick. Psychosis. Funny. And then when they do that, they do that nigga draft, bro. That's crazy, man. Damn, I don't like this. Right. I'm gonna have to eat my words here soon. I told some folks, hey man, you know, you know Kamala winning this shit, man. <coughs> bro, that nigga Le'Veon Bell, he said if Kamala win, he said he moving, bro. Like you safe. And then yeah. Brett Favre, Brett Favre, you're going to jail. Well, nah, now that Trump win, he actually won't go to jail. Yeah, you know, he like, definitely he, he gonna write that letter. He gonna write yeah, that letter. Bro. Hey, hey Trump, this is your good old pal. Brett Far, bro. That's <laughs> crazy, bro. Hey, man, little dirt might get <laughs> Trump gonna free a little dirt. That would be insane. And you know he gonna free little dirt, bro. Nah, that Jesus would be insane. Christ, you man. think he would have freed thug? He said that. He, at one of, he said that at one of the rallies. That's said crazy. he was gonna free young thug at one of the <laughs> rallies, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Trump. Hey man, we'll do last. We'll do this last one, bro. This one from Rome. Uh, Allen Iverson did a. Uh, I don't know what this was a tea commercial. This for you tea ass niggas. Is this a Japanese brand or something? What is that writing? Japanese. You said Japanese. Yeah. Boy, racist, bro. It's China. Oh okay. I'm just playing. It's, <laughs> ja it's, ja it's Japan. Japan. Jap oh, I I'm, mean I'm, Japan. I'm I'm racist. I mean Japan. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Japan. That's crazy. Oh my god, bro. Wait, it's Alan Iverson, bro. Hi, Alan. Can I get your job? Of course. Here you 
go. It's like a million things wrong. It's like, first of all, why do you need CGI for Allen? Allen Ives can't run or something? Boy, that's crazy. That's crazy. He don't, I'm going to be honest, he do look like, you know, he might be struggling with something. Nigga Martin Lawrence, bro. He do kind of give me them vibes, bro. Allen Iverson swole up in a way that <coughs> the nigga look. He got a little, he got a little, yeah, that's what happened when you tired. He gained a little weight. No, 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 100%, but he don't look like he could run right now. Yeah, he can't run around the hallway a little bit. I don't know, because everything that they did in this clip definitely seemed like something an ex-pro athlete should be able to do. Yeah, bro, he was just, he was just running. Only, you only thing that was in that video that I was like, all right, you could probably got to get a stunt double when he did a little slide. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, nigga, most people can't. Even if you in shape, you're not sliding like that. Right, bro, right, man, especially bro. on a, a hard-ass floor. <laughs> Everything was weird about that. Even in the beginning when they were talking, yeah. that wasn't Allen Iverson's voice. That bro. was somebody. I like some. I don't know, bro. That was strange. Everything about. But I know weird. he got a crazy bag to do that shit. He definitely got some M's to do that. I lied. I got one more. This one from uh, home. Hold up. This one from Paperwork Sam. This lady, she got arrested. She said, "Canadian volleyball player arrested after." I'll have to be doing whatever the fuck you want to do. <laughs> Your shit going crazy. I think the button was stuck. It said Canadian. <laughs> I give up, bro. She got, she got. She, right, she, she, yeah. she, she, after getting Pretty paid quick. $300 to smuggle over a million dollars worth of drugs, girl math. So yeah. she got paid $300 to smuggle a million dollars worth of drugs. Cooked, bitch. You better snitch. Hey man, I would have ran off on the plug. You talking about if you were the lady? Hell yeah, bro. What the fuck was she about to do with a million dollars worth of drugs? All you gotta do, is, bro. they would have found that lady and killed the fuck out of her. Yeah, you ain't lying. I don't know. Like, what I what I, I say it all the time on here. I say, man, if you give girls that you, you you put that on them, they'll do anything for you. Like that girl that was doing the little telekinesis with her hands. Mm -hmm. You put that thing on them, they'll do anything. Bro, digging it down. He like, bitch, move, move these drugs, I'm, I'm bitch. I'm going about 300. <laughs> <laughs> she probably didn't even know she had three a million dollars worth of drugs on her. She probably just knew she had drugs. 